Hello everyone, welcome back to Tony's Movie Reviews. So today I, I'm going to review a film which was shown last 2017. It's a local film. And before I do that, I would like to give a shout out first to all our to, to all my frontliner friends and everyone else um, who are helping us in our battle against uh, the coronavirus. Uh, please keep safe. Uh, we are all praying for your for your safety and uh, to those who are uh, who have got the disease we are also praying for your fast recovery so I hope we can all uh, move on with our lives soon uh, but for now I'm going to give you a, my movie review of the movie I'm Drunk I Love You um, it stars Paolo Avellino Ma Salvador so they're the two main characters they're Dio and Carson. And then Jasmine Curtis Smith plays Patty. She's Dio's love interest. And Dominic Rocco plays Jason T. Um, he's the beard 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 of Maha Salvador. And then in very in a very small um, cameo roles are Irma Adlawan, who plays Carson's mother, Ma Blanca's mother. And Jim Paredes, who plays Paolo Avenida's father, no? So it's in a very, um, it's a very, they played a very uh, small part, okay? Um, okay, in, in the movie, um, this is actually a romantic comedy, but it doesn't have the trappings of a normal romantic comedy. Um, so the, the main focus is on both characters, Dio and Carson. So they go on, uh, they're graduating from college. And if you look at it, I think they went to UP because the way they talk, they talk like UP students. So, um, because in UP, uh, and I mean Diliman, UP and not the other UPs, uh, seven years is a normal, <laughs> normal time to graduate regardless of course. So in the movie, uh, Dio's character, seven years, UP, film center, no? I mean, film major, sorry. And then, um, Carson, social work, okay. So they're in the college, at the back of my college, because I went to engineering. So, when I was there, social work was behind, was it yeah, behind or behind my, the our laboratories, I think. That's, that's where it was. But that was long time ago. That's 30 years ago. So I don't know now how where the where the new buildings are uh, but for film of course you went to the mascot building which is beside um, the music uh, uh, conservatory so anyway i'm digressing let's go back to the movie uh, the movie is uh, directed by jaime habak jr um, i'm a fan of talkie movies so you know in america wait um, they have uh, they had before sunrise before sunset so this movie uh, basically almost the same template but in this case they go to they go to La Union uh, they, so they had a they have a road trip but this is not really a road trip movie because the scenes are uh, not mostly along the road no? it's, it's in La Union and here in Quezon City so, and it's basically talking, talking, talking. Um, what I like about the movie, I think the plus points, no? Number one, um, I think it's realistic. No? It's one of the more realistic portrayals of, of young people. Although, I'm not young anymore. And um, I think the way, way we talked 30 years ago, of the, at the same age would be different. Would be a little bit different. Uh, our concerns would be, uh, not as 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 difficult as those, as these kids right now, but I can relate to the aimlessness, you know, because Dio's character is a bit aimless. He doesn't know really know yet, you know, even after seven years in college, uh, what he wants to do. So that's very common. Don't worry, when you're young, that's part of growing up. It, it really um, 
I I mean you have an idea at the back of your mind what you want to do but you're not sure if that's really the path you want to take because because you're not sure if it's, there's going to be money in it like for me I, I knew I can write but I know they don't pay writers well and if I go to journalism they will kill me so you have to remember I grew up during the 80s no? the time of Marcos so they just shoot shoot journalists in the Philippines so up to now they still shoot journalists so even before I was not very keen so just like Dio's character I was again I, I digress um, just like Dio's character um, it's very common for UP students especially those who stayed a little bit longer in the university to have doubts on what they really want to do so so that's Dio's problem um, Dio and uh, Carson are best friends so Dio is a guy uh, Carson is a girl so just imagine oh, Paolo Avellino just imagine in your head a guy as handsome as Paolo Avellino and a girl as beautiful as Ma Blanca stay as friends do you think that's possible I even wanted to post right now can a, can a straight guy and a straight girl be best friends without any romantic feelings and I think no it cannot exist and anyway in real life I haven't seen many well I haven't seen any so it's always if they're best friends boy and girl they're usually husband and wife especially in my generation because of course 99% of my contemporaries are already married no? or 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 divorced but anyway um, what I'm saying is um, although a gay man and a w straight woman can be very good friends um, a, gay, a straight man and a straight woman can be very good friends but they cannot the relationship is not platonic there's always some romantic romance involved in it and you will see that in the movie and you will see it played out and you will not get the expectation you want because I expected something to happen but didn't happen the director is very cruel no <laughs> No, okay, I'm just kidding. Um, the director just wants to be realistic, I think. Because if you look at the character of, of Dio, uh, which is played fantastically by Paolo Avellini, he, this guy can do these types of roles. You know, that, that torpe, that I love you, but I don't love you that way, that way role. He has perfected that already. I've seen him do it in Dalawang Kanan. Kanang Paa? Was that the one? Uh, dalawang Kanang Paa. Yikes. Let me check. Oh, anyway, I couldn't find... There's a movie I watched before, a really good movie, with him and Rocco Nasino. Um, on that. Uh, I couldn't find it, sorry. But it's, it's very... It's the same character, no? He loves he loves you as a friend but cannot love you romantically so this time it's replicated uh, this time it's a girl and although the girl says it the guy tries to to you know assuage her feelings and give her what she wants but uh, the truth is he doesn't really love her he loves another girl so um, that's basically the, the whole movie um, it's how it's played out and then there are some plots you know um, there's um, Dio and Patty they're trying to work out their feelings if 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 Patty I, in the movie Patty still has feelings for Dio Dio is a bit reluctant but you can see he's, he's giving it a chance on the other hand uh, the, the best gay friend of Carson uh, Jason T. It's very cute the way he called Jason T. Jason T. Um, he's also trying to find true love. So he may have found it in the movie. I mean, I mean, in the in the in La Union where they were. So um, that's for you to find out. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I like the execution of the movie. Um, it, it might look be a bit slow for most people, but like me, I like slow movies. I like slow burn movies um, I like it when people talk and uh, so so this this movie really worked for me 
and and um, I'm a big fan of Paolo Avellino so you know just seeing his face on the screen is amazing in terms of acting all of them are great you know especially Maha uh, Maha Salvador um, I've met her during the Urian when she won her best actress award for uh, she was a runner in that movie um, but here um, among all the actors here she's the one who's who really uh, was able to express herself. Uh, maybe because she has the showiest role as well. She really has to um, give an ultimatum to Dio. But I love how she, you know, how she shrugs everything off and just accepts the fact that we're just going to be really good friends. You're my best friend anyway. So I love how she, how her, she, how she showed that character art. No? From being shy, shy to tell Dio to really telling telling Dio that night, and then uh, letting her expectations crash on her, and being able to 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 pull herself together, you know, after that disappointment. So that's that's and she did really great, you know. So I'm I'm not surprised why why she she has a Rian Best Actress Award. She's a good actress. Same with Paolo Avellino. I think Paolo also has an Orian, if I'm not mistaken. So, but the problem with Paolo is I've seen him before in this role, so, so I'm not, you know, I I know he can do it. I know he can nail it. Um, uh, Dominic Rocco as a gay, gay best friend, amazing. Makes me even think is he really gay in real life? But I checked, uh, he's not gay. So, that one he really nailed it. All, I mean, not an extra, not an uh, irritating mannerism from him. Because straight guys who do gay roles, many of them have irritating, have, many of them have irritating mannerisms which I do not like. But for um, Dominic, he really nailed this this gay role really well. So with that, I I know the movie is three years old, but I saw it in. And what is it? In I want, I think, or in YouTube. I'm not sure. You can check I want. I have I want, and then you can also check YouTube. They're showing it for free. I hope it's legal. But if it's in YouTube and they're showing it for free, then most likely it's legal. Um, it's a great movie. Um, I enjoyed it a lot. It reminded me of my UP days, and um, it's well written. It's uh, written intelligently. It's not jalogies, you know. So go and watch it if you if you want some some cute faces on your screen, but expect not don't expect too much from too much love because um, they 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 hewed more to the to what's really real in this movie. So take care everyone. Thank you for watching my movie review. That that was for I'm drunk. I love you. Um, see you in my next movie review. Bye-bye.